Welcome to another episode of Adobe Spotlight. In this episode, we're gonna look at three additional mini tools that you'll find within Adobe Express. Let's get started. So in a previous episode, I showed you how to go to express.adobe.com and log in with a school account. Once you've done that, you'll gain access to Adobe Express. And Adobe Express is the same tool as what used to be called Adobe Creative Cloud Express. It was recently renamed to just be Adobe Express. Before that, it used to be called Adobe Spark and again had similar functionality. With the name changes, there have been additional tools added. And so what used to be Adobe Spark, Adobe Creative Cloud Express, and now Adobe Express just keeps getting better and better with these additional tools. In the previous episode, we looked at three of the quick action tools that are here in Adobe Express. In this episode, we're gonna focus on these three quick action tools, convert to MP4, trim video, and resize image. First, convert to MP4. If I click on that, it opens up the tool, and all I have to do is drag and drop a video into this box, or if I prefer, I can click here to browse for the video. That's what I want to do. I'll click here, and I'm just navigating my computer to find the video that I want to convert to be an MP4. Now, why would I want to do this? Why would I want or need to convert a video into an MP4 video? Well, one of the reasons is that MP4 videos are some of the most versatile and commonly used videos on today's computers. So let's say you're using a program that's expecting you to have an MP4 video, but what if you have a different kind of video, like .mov videos? And there are also older video file types that are not always compatible with today's technology. So here I have a video that's a .mov and I'd really like to change that, convert it to be an MP4. So I'm just gonna select it, click open, and it's uploading this video into my Adobe Express account. There it is. I could press play to preview the video if I want to. This footage is from Mesa Verde National Park in Colorado. And I'll just go ahead and pause it there. Now, even though I can preview the video as it is right now, notice that it hasn't quite finished uploading the full video into my account. So I need to be patient and make sure that that completes before I move ahead. So give me a few seconds to wait for this to finish uploading and then I'll resume the video. Okay, the video has almost finished uploading. Once it's done, I will be able to download the converted MP4 video. In addition to just converting the video to MP4 format, notice that I do have options to shorten a video. I could cut out the last few seconds. I could also cut out the beginning of the video if I'd like. And there's also an option to mute the audio. I'm going to click there to flip that switch to mute the audio. Now I'm ready to click the download button. And after some processing, this video will be downloaded to my computer. And in addition to the original .mov video, I will now have an MP4 video that's much more compatible with software programs and with websites that use video. The processing has completed and the video has been downloaded. You can see it's downloading here in my downloads folder on my computer. It's finished downloading and I can now click to open that up and now I have my video, it's in MP4 format, there's no audio because I muted it, and the beginning of the video has been trimmed, and also the end. So this is a very handy, quick tool that you can access from within Adobe Express. Our next mini tool or quick action tool that I want to spotlight in this episode is Trim Video. So I'll click there to open it up, and this is gonna be similar in a lot of ways to the Convert to MP4 tool, once again, I browse my device for a video, or I could click and drag and drop it there. But this time, the tool focuses not on converting to MP4 format, but just focuses on trimming the end, trimming the beginning. Once again, I can mute the audio if I want. I can also adjust the size of the video, changing it from landscape layout to portrait layout or to square layout. Now, because I chose square size or layout, notice that there's another option that I get, which is fill screen. When I click that button, it zooms in on the video to make sure that there's no black bars. Sometimes you want those, sometimes you don't, but that is a good option to have. 
At this point, I can click the download button and it's gonna process my video and then it will download it into my downloads folder. So like I said, this trim video quick tool is quite similar to the convert to MP4 quick tool that we have in Adobe Express. It looks like the processing has finished and my video is being downloaded. I'll click to open it up and there is my square video. I can click play and it's been trimmed. The beginning and end have been trimmed. The last quick action tool that we're gonna look at in this episode of Adobe Spotlight is resize image. If I click here on resize image, I'll be able to either drag and drop an image or click to browse on my device, select an image, and look at the tools I get here at the right. I can resize this image that's a panorama style image, but I could resize it for Instagram or Facebook or LinkedIn for Instagram. After selecting Instagram, I can just click to try out the different Instagram friendly image sizes and I can decide which of those I want to go with. In addition to that, we have an image scale button that basically zooms in on the image. If you want to, you can then click and drag on the image to get it to the right place that you want to focus on. Once you've made your selection of the dimensions, the size of your new image, and you've zoomed in or out as needed, at that point, you can click the download button and it takes you to a screen where you'll get to see what the finished image will look like and it downloads a copy to your downloads folder. Notice that here on this page, I do have some options for some basic editing. Again, I can zoom in or out, I can rotate the image a little bit, I can add some effects, some filters, some enhancements, etc. And then I could download the image again. I'm gonna click back and it saved my project. That's one of the strengths of Adobe Express is it constantly saves your work. I'm gonna pull in the same image again just to point out that in addition to Instagram sizes, we also have sizes for Facebook, for Twitter, for YouTube, Pinterest, LinkedIn, and others. We also have an option for custom sizes. So if you're not resizing an image just for social media purposes, you could go here to custom to customize the height and width of your image. And again, you can scale up or down the image to customize it the way you want it to be. In addition to custom sizes, we do have standard sizes. So these may not be social media related and they're not completely custom, but these are just some standard basic sizes that images often need to fit. So a widescreen size, we have an iPhone size, presentation slide size, portrait, landscape, and square. Again, we can use the image scale slider if we need to, and then just click download when you're done. Let's look at my finished projects. You can see the different options that I selected, the different sizes, and the results, all using the same image. So I hope that you will try these quick action mini tools that are built in to Adobe Express. And this video is the second in a three-part series on the Adobe Quick Action Mini Tools. So I hope that you'll go back and watch the prior video as well as the future video that will cover the last couple of Adobe Quick Action Mini Tools. For now though, thanks for watching this episode of Adobe Spotlight and I look forward to you joining me again in a future episode.